Howdy my noble friend Sir Kagababu is back with World of Tanks and this time I'm playing the tier 9 American tank destroyer the T-30. Well partners this is this used to be the original tier 10 uh, American heavy tank but they downgraded it to tier 9 and turned it into a tank destroyer. This is essentially the same tank as the American T-34 premium heavy and uh, the T-29 but with different variants, different guns and of course. So this is essentially a heavy tank in a, a tank destroyer category. Its characteristics have been changed. It is a lot slower and slower to turn and stuff so if you are bumping up its nimbleness by hang on let's see what we find on this corner uh, or oh, american that cc mark 2 and uh, i wonder if my shot went in the end i don't know anyways if you are bumping this vehicle's traverse speed by the crew skill and also by rotation mechanism then it can become bearable otherwise it feels artificially nerfed and slow which sucks i'm trying to shoot at any target which are going to come forward but the problem is we the gun line over here on our side is so much that uh, no enemy is going to dare and come from here but a wild indian panzer appears out of nowhere i don't know what he was thinking uh, well i guess he was not thinking much <laughs> i mean uh, advancing this far forward into the nest of the enemies well i indicate to the amx that i am going to help him because he is on low health and i see that uh, america uh, object 257 the soviet heavy is trying to make a pressure so it is time to clap him hard i retreat and you guys if you look at the mini map you would see there are so many mediums and lights over there so an middle area is owned by the enemy and i was hit by the standard b i am uh, in trying to indicate to the amx that he should retreat and not get clapped from the left side well he didn't get clapped from the left side but the m3y on the enemy side killed him and uh, amx yeah, there i see in the chat uh, amx played poorly and uh, he could have saved himself by retreating but he did not our own standard b is moving up as well and he is getting uh, hit from the side too m3y is uh, playing well using the wreck of uh, the object 257 but i put one round into the cupola because it's the turret and cupola are really high and one can put a round after round into it i am just trying to hold the line over here making use of my fallen comrade amx and uh, enemies are just pushing they are able to push because they own the middle area m3y comes back for more and he thinks he is safe but he was not safe my noble friends and by coming here we have managed to stem the tide of enemy advance on this corner and now projecto comes in for some action and well projecto 66 got some action he was trying to side scrape against a t30 well uh, that is cute let's just say that so partner scores are almost 
we are two tanks up but hit points wise we are uh, below minus 500 so enemies are healthier than us most of our team is concentrated in this e23 pocket and is being held by the italian uh, cc1 mark 2 and conqueror and they are dug in so well that uh, cannot be described and i make a move from the middle take a hit from Shepetic thankfully uh, Shepetic had loaded AG round and it only did uh, 33 damage to me and Conqueror sensing the danger I pose to him he has decided to come back and engage me let's see I don't want to move forward We put a round into his track and it goes into his hull as well. I was saying that I don't want to get forward because the CC Mark 1 is totally hull down uh, from the way, uh, those windows and I cannot do anything to him. He is firing heat. Luckily, we managed to bounce that round and I was afraid that I would be hit from the middle or flanked by someone from the middle. But it seems that uh, nobody is going to come so I then move forward and am aiming on the CC Mark 1 and this time CC Mark 1 has sacrificed a lot of dissidents to Mussolini and I managed to miss my shot. It was just so horrid that cannot be described. I am so shameful. Shame on you Mussolini for making my shots miss. And then I have another shot. It, the shot goes into his gun. I bounce it. I mean with friends like me who needs enemies. Oh man. I was just about to fire but thankfully our 50 tp and object 252 you managed to finish off uh, the cc mark one i faff two shots i apologize in the chat as well because i uh, displayed a shameful display by uh, faffing those shots crying shame well what can you do when uh, enemy has a fallen dictator from the past on his side right anyways okay the enemy standard b and m4y remain m4y goes down and only standard b remains we are going to hunt him down but uh, let's speed it up because we are not going to see any action standard b is trying to just uh, delay the inevitable However, <laughs> he took Skoda down. But object 252, you finished off the standard B. We got 4204 damage with four kills. And it was a slow grind trying to stem the tide of the enemy from the middle area. And thankfully, with our efforts, we were able to defeat the enemy with a handsome score as well so let's look at the post game stats partners all right we got first class mastery badge for our 4200 damage we damaged a lot of enemies and uh, the one which uh, gladdens me the most was the two rounds in the m3y i put he was uh, trying to make use of the object 257's hull and putting pressure on us and if i hadn't taken care of him his rate of fire is so much that he would have ripped apart all the tanks which were beside me uh, making use of that track plus having cover from the mid area from his friendly mediums also the experience we got is 6000 and as always i applied the bonus 4204 damage with four kills 1158 base experience i would say a decent score we fired 10 
uh, direct hits were eight and seven were penetration so not bad so there you have it partners a game in the tier 9 american um, i was going to say heavy tank but it is a tank destroyer anyways uh, i hope you enjoyed this game and uh, i hope to see you guys in the next one so until next time goodbye my noble friends